Hi, my name is Eric Hallard. I'm the CTO of SUSE. Today I'm going to show you how to upload a manifest and connect your GitHub account. We'll have you scanning your projects for vulnerabilities and license issues in under five minutes. First, go to SUSE.io and sign up. This is the welcome screen. We're going to go straight to upload a manifest. If you are an engineer, you're probably familiar with looking for packages out on the internet. Let's pretend I want to do some image resizing for my website. Here's a package. It hasn't been updated in seven or eight years, so it probably has some vulnerabilities. We're going to download the manifest. We're going to jump back to the SUSE application. I'm going to upload. And then we're going to run an analysis. That usually takes 20 or 30 seconds, so while we're waiting, I'm going to go integrate with GitHub. Sign into your GitHub account. Okay, now that I've authenticated with GitHub, I can just configure. I have a demo account that I'm going to use here. You can see some of our supported languages. The full list is published on our site and in our knowledge base. But of note is which repositories do you want to give access to. You can pick specific ones. I'm just going to choose all for the sake of this demo. And then we'll be redirected back to the application. Now we have the option to do a quick scan. You see it lets me pick any of my repositories. I'm just going to choose this Ruby app and run the analysis. Okay, we're back at the dashboard. Here's the image resizer manifest we uploaded a minute ago. As you can see, there's some high-level details on this project card about what we found. If we drill in, we see some graphs about how things have changed over time. There's no changes since we just uploaded it. I think the most useful thing for a new user is to take a look at, of course, details about vulnerabilities we found. And the quickest way to remediate a vulnerability if there's an upgrade path without a vulnerability is to upgrade. So we can help you with that. If you click fix, it gives you the next minor version that you can upgrade to, and it also lets you see the syntax, for example, in the manifest syntax of uh, NPM in this case. I think we found a node package. Um, the other interesting thing you can do is review the dependency tree and also license information about the project. So if you are concerned about a GPL v3, for example, in your project, you can see that here you can get high-level details about your package, and you can even set policies to explicitly exclude something like GPL3. Finally, I'm gonna take one more look at the developer dashboard so that you can see that our Ruby app that we connected through GitHub is now here. We have the results, we have the project details. I hope you'll sign up at seuss.io, check out our app. We offer a free trial and we don't require a credit card you could be scanning in less than five minutes. Thanks.